one way of working out your profit is your income minus 10, 15, 20 heads of expenses. But a better method would be if you classify them in this fashion, variable and fixed, now your profit is a function of income that is sales minus variable cost minus fixed cost is equal to profit. The moment you do this, you start getting an amazing insight into your costing, into the nature of costs, into your profitability. It will help you decide your pricing strategy. It will help you arrive at your discount structure and various other decisions that you need to take on a day-to-day -day basis. Therefore, the condition necessary to break even is that your contribution must match your fixed cost. How much is the fixed cost you need to recover? 10,000. How much is your contribution per table? 150. Therefore, how many tables should you make in order to break even? Formula for break even point is very, very simple. Fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. How can you sell your product at way below your cost and still not make a loss? It is only a study of marginal costing which will give you an insight into this. When you break up your costs into variable costs and fixed costs, you understand what is your marginal cost. And what do you mean by marginal cost? It is the cost at the margin. What is the additional cost of making one unit more or what is the saving in cost if you make one unit less? What I am trying to get at is if you work out your profit as income minus 10, 20, 30 heads of expenses, you never really understand where to put your foot down, where to say no to a customer who asks for a discount and to what extent you can bend. But the moment you study your cost by dividing them into variable and fixed, you realize what is essential is not that the bottom line should be a positive figure. Of course, it is desirable. If it is positive, it's wonderful. But there are times where recession, where competition will push you to the wall. And now you must realize that it is not essential always to have a positive bottom line so long as this contribution figure is positive. 